so I think the way you should attend the World Tour events is one for the networking opportunity and look at the latest innovation that's coming out of the organisation. Uh, we're just about to become a HANA partner on the Ramp Up programme with the uh, Business Analytics team. So we're here today to catch up and ensure that we've got the right components in place. Hi, I'm Clive from Vantage. Uh, what's been great about the day for us so far is having one of our clients speak here and the engagement we've had from other prospective clients uh, have had a real interest in that story. It's important for us to get our message out and World Tour is a great, is a great, is a great media for us to do that. My name's Hugh Thomas Davis from Crossgate. Um, it's been a great day today. We've had some great interaction between ourselves and uh, some of our customers and people that we've been um, talk talking to and working with over a number of uh, months. Um, there's really an interest in innovation here, being able to leverage uh, the leverage the uh, the technologies that are available from SAP and SAP partners like us. So it's been a really worthwhile day. Hi, I'm Chris Hall from Ernst & Young here at SAP's World Tour 2011 at Twickenham. What's been fascinating about the day, listening to the keynote sessions, going to the breakouts, talking to the clients who have been uh, around here in the exhibition hall, and looking at some of the products and technology that's being demonstrated by SAP, because we're now starting to see some really concrete examples of technology which will solve huge data challenges that today's businesses are facing. We've seen exponential amounts of information growth recently. We now actually see some opportunities for business to start to handle that effectively in the future. Hi. My name is Bernard, I'm from Novel Audits. It's great to be here today. I'm enjoying the meeting with Global. Uh, SAP World Tour is an opportunity and I'm looking forward to it really uh, spending a full day around and uh, keep on uh, taking advantage of what's being offered here. I'm Simon Nichols, I'm from Two Systems. Uh, I'm here to sort of tell you how companies should innovate, uh, or why they should innovate. The main reason behind this obviously is if companies don't take that step uh, towards innovation uh, around cloud computing, uh, managed outsourcing, then they'll just get left behind. Uh, the worst one can do in this uh, economic climate and this business climate is to actually be left behind. So here at T-Systems we're providing ways to take your SAP into the cloud and to demonstrate innovation. Hi, I'm Andy Hurst. I'm at uh, SAP World Tour here in Twickenham today. Really exciting to see all the customers here and to interface with them. Uh, also enjoyed the two customer stories I saw this morning. Uh, excellent example of a very large scale project from Vodafone. How they implemented that across the business. Uh, seems like the business benefits were really significant. Uh, it would also be a really good interesting story as Vodafone well, being one of the big mobile players in the, in the world here. And obviously with the innovations going on in mobile, really interesting to see how they're implementing big SAP projects within their own business.